December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Well, I had a newspaper route, and I lived on the west side on Lovell Avenue, and uh, that Sunday, the newspaper, I don't know if it was a journal or what they called it back then, but they come out with a special edition. And I can remember walking down the middle of the street on a Sunday afternoon, yelling extra, extra, and people were coming out of the houses. And I was not quite 16, and I thought, well, this war will never get me, you know, but it sure did. I graduated in uh, June of 43, and uh, I'd received a draft notice a month or two previous to that. Okay. And the uh, government said, well, you can finish your graduation, and they drafted me in August of 43. There is a mysterious cycle in human events. To some generations, much is given. Of other generations, much is expected. This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with destiny. They gave you a choice of going to the Army, Air Force, or Navy, and I picked the Navy. And I uh, went to Samson for basic training, and then I hit a couple of hospitals, St. Albans, I believe, out in Rhode Island, and, uh, or, and, uh, and then they shipped me from, went from Nova Scotia to Scotland and caught the ship that I stayed on for the rest of the service. What was the name of the ship? The ship I was on was the Joseph T. Dickman. APA 13 it was an amphibious uh, pursuit assault ship, and I was in the medical part of it, aboard ship. Uh, if I remember right, I don't know how all these numbers I'm giving you, but we had approximately uh, 500 crew and approximately 5,000 troops, and we carried 40 called them Higgins boats, they were landing crafts. And uh, our first invasion was D-Day at Normandy on Omaha Beach. The Allies got their money's worth from Higgins and his landing craft. His boats proved to be tactically and logistically irreplaceable during one of the most important invasions in human history. From their decks along the Normandy beaches, the Allies were able to launch a drive straight to Berlin, and ultimately, victory. We were all anxious, of course. Like I say, you knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. What was the boat's assignment? To, to uh, drop off the Higgins boats? Was that the... The landing crafts and then the troops. Mm -hmm. We stayed offshore, of course. And the most I remember, I guess, you got up that morning in the dark, of course, and uh, is... Uh, Dawn came, why, and you could look in any direction as far as you could see over the water, and it was ships and planes above when it started at 6 a.m. And we could hardly see the sky and, and just a massive, massive. And then the landing craft, we put them all down and loaded the, the troops, loaded in, and away they went. And of course, we were miles offshore. Which, which beach were you off of? Omaha. Bloody Omaha. And then they brought back the wounded. We used our ship as a more or less a small hospital ship, and they started bringing the wounded back to our ship. And uh, Germans as well as, as uh, Americans. Uh, and I remember going, I, it was close to 72 hours without sleep. I remember that part of it, yeah. I remember a prisoner uh, laying on a stretcher, wounded, and uh, smiling at me and showing me a picture of his family. I never forgot that. Mm. Were there any problems between wounded Germans and wounded Americans? No. No? No. And as they died uh, off, Americans or Germans, why, they were put in the fro food lockers, frozen, 
till we got to shore. They didn't bury bury them at sea like the stories go. When the German wounded were on the ship. How was there a difficulty in communicating with them? Oh sure, sure, so, yeah. So how did we get? Did we have any German speaking? Uh, well, I, Americans or did no. you just say, "Well, you're wounded. We're treating your wounded." You did, you know, you, you did the best you could to communicate, correct? Sure, just tried to yeah. help them, take care of them, like a hospital. You know, yeah. you didn't, you yeah. didn't have to talk. You just right. tried to help. They're quite happy to be aboard the ship, right? Well, right. sure, they were out of it. Back at the beach, they were out of it. Just, I was a pharmacist's third mate. I ended up as and. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Third, uh, third class, did I say that? And uh, it was just where needed. How long were you there off of Omaha Beach? Or did you... I'd say four, five days, yeah. guessing. Yeah. And then we went to the invasion of southern France from there. That wasn't far off after that. One thing we did, we I remember taking troops aboard in France and uh, they put me out as we were taking aboard French soldiers and uh, every other French soldier had a jeep gas can full of wine <laughs> and uh, the captain says the captain says no 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 you're not bringing wine aboard my ship and uh, so I had to make them dump these <laughs> cans in the ocean of full of wine. And one French soldier had a little monkey with a hat and everything on it. And the captain says, you're not bringing that monkey aboard my ship either. And uh, they had to give it away to somebody standing there at the time. But that always stuck in my head. That <laughs> All that good, they drank wine like we drink coffee, you know, the, the French, and uh, not a drop came aboard that ship. I do have one, uh, I can't remember, I think also off of France, we were tied up, and they sent me ashore to, to pick up a, a movie, a movie to show aboard ship, and I had one of the big canisters with the reels in it, you know, and the sea was very, very rough. And I'm going back in the Higgins boats in a, in a rope ladder, going to go back aboard ship. Climbing this rope ladder, carrying this heavy reel of film, and I dropped it in the ocean. <laughs> and of course it was gone, and uh, I don't think the crew spoke to me for three, we had half a movie. There was two parts to this movie, and I had half of it. Did and you the, cr the crew, the crew, I don't know, but the crew didn't speak to me for <laughs> quite a while. I've got one story here. I don't know if I should put it on tape or not here. It's we'll a little, it little, little bit risque, but I always always tell everybody I was trying to get a Purple Heart because they say, well, you got wounded in the service? I says, no, they circumcised me. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. I got circumcised in the Navy. <laughs> you want that on film? <laughs> No, uh, no Purple Heart, right? No, I couldn't get a Purple Heart. Played, played a lot of Pinochle. Yeah, and get out on the the uh, poop deck, they called it, and in the sun. And uh, if you got sunburned in those days where you couldn't perform your job, you got court-martialed. Yeah. So you were very careful of that. And, Salt pills they used to give us for the heat. Awful, awful storms, yes. You know, you just, darn ship would go up and up and up and you'd think you're, you know, and just all of a sudden down, you know. It, it just, it's a feeling. I never got seasick. Cold and lonely, it's about all you can say. I don't remember spotting anything. Just, you may do. You're young and gonna live forever, you know. But the East is still in bondage to the treacherous tyranny of the Japanese. When the last Japanese division has surrendered unconditionally, then only will our fighting job be done. Seem to be a lot of burn cases in, in, that I remember and 
In those days, they'd put gauze in Vaseline and uh, keep it soaked, you know, bad burns on, on patients. And uh, they, of course, they don't do that anymore. Everything is keep it dry, you know, for burn cases. But I remember that. There was a lot of burn. But VJ Day, okay. uh, when the war was over, okay. we were a couple days off of San Francisco coming back and they would not let us off the ship because there was too much party on the Frisco. <laughs> so they made us stay aboard for a couple days to let settle down that part. I was hurt terribly. Oh. I couldn't get off and celebrate. <laughs> well, obviously you did celebrate on the ship. Uh, what did they do? Did they bring out, bring out the beer? What, what did they, uh, do you remember? Just a lot of hellabaloo. No, you didn't uh, party much aboard a ship, no. That was a no-no. Joined the Navy to see the sea. What did I see? I saw the sea. <laughs> that was mostly. <laughs> this has been terrific. Will I ever get to see this? Absolutely. We will give you a copy of this. Uh, so we'll mail it to you so you'll have it and the full thing. To keep? To keep. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. I show it to the kids. Exactly.